guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for being back on my channel um i'm very excited to create content right now like it's crazy because i was like oh my gosh i can't wait to receive new makeup so i could go ahead and try it like i want to go back to just try makeup because you guys know i'm a makeup order and i make more so i love makeup so today i got a really cute package from pomograph but everything came broken <laughs> I already took everything out so it would be faster for me to show you guys how everything the price is everything and what it works and all that but the package came broken and the powders came shattered I bet you the UPS guy was like whatever I don't care about this and literally threw it but you know what I'm a makeup artist I will make this work let me show you the powder how I look like though before we even go oh, me. it's gonna be a little messy this is how the powders came shattered so I'm gonna make it work because I wanna see how this looks. Like I'm excited for me. I'm very, when it comes to uh, skincare, concealers and foundations and powders to set, I'm down. Like that's like my main thing because that's the base, you know what I mean? So right now my go-tos are Beauty Blender Concealer that I literally love, the way that, mm, mm, mm. Jua Concealer and Juvia's Place are my three top concealers right now. So Pomegranate Foundation, I love. So I was excited when to find out that she was gonna come up with concealers. This is how they look like. This is glass. I don't know how I feel about the glass packaging. Like this breaks and I'm gonna be upset. $32? And I don't I don't like glass stuff. I don't. But I guess that it makes it more fancy and her packaging is very fancy, so that's why. Um, this one's go for $32. The powders go for $30. And I'm excited about this powder. It says that it's blurring and it's just, it's gonna make it look like you don't got nothing going on. This is the only one that's surviving is the white one. This is literally gonna be ashy on me. Ooh, the, Ooh, the way this feels though, hold up. Ooh, okay, I'm excited for the powder. And then the brush right here is $30. This, I think this is not necessary. This, I'm not a person that applies concealer with brushes, so that's you. Congratulations for me. I like a booty blender to just blend that seamless. So I think I would use this for my eye, but I wouldn't purchase this. I think this one is kind of 30 for, no. No, it comes in 36 shades. I love that. Ooh, the shades, oh my goodness, look at this. Ooh, that's the medium deep category. This um, items come out on the 21st. I don't know if it's available in Sephora yet, but it says here on her website, arrives on the 21st. So I guess it's before it comes out. But I'm excited to, to just like give it like a wear test to see how it wears out because I have a lot of stuff to do today. But um, yeah, let's try these products to see how they go and what it is. Pom graph, are we on in this? This is the colors they sh uh, send me. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch one to see how the one is first this is the one in the hand to see how it goes on oh yeah full coverage this is a foundation do we want to try it as a foundation do we i think i am oh uh, i'm gonna like this yes and i love the the applicator the applicator it goes you know, because there's some there's some concealers that applicators that literally you put that thing on and look like it's your eyes gonna fly out because it's like stabbing you. So I love that when you are applying it, it kind of like it moves with the moves that you're going through. You know what I mean? So I love that. But this, <laughs> okay, all righty. Let me see. Let me find my shades and we gonna be right back to apply it and see what's up. So we narrowed it down to two. Um, it was a big jump. I didn't think like the colors in between are crazy. I can't wait to go to Sephora to just go see them all because I want to see the different shades. Because this colors, they're similar, but they have like a different undertone. And I'm like, maybe they got it wrong and sent me the wrong one. But the ones right now for my whole face, because I am going to apply it over my face. Hello, who am I if I don't do that? Like, hello. MD26 is going to be the one to conceal and for my whole face. And then a big jump to M20. And I'm gonna use this one to highlight. You guys normally, you guys know normally I conceal and then highlight, but um, okay, okay, all right, okay, thank you. Okay, so MD26 is gonna be to conceal foundation, and then M20 to highlight. 
So I already moisturized my skin and primed it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and correct, okay? I'm gonna be using an old school one that I haven't touched in a long time. This one is Peach Luster by MAC, Prep and Prime. Um, I don't know why I stopped using it. But guess what? We're gonna use it today. All right. On the camera, I might look a little orangey, but in person, it just looks like a even me out. Here, it looks a little oompa loompa, but that's completely fine, okay? But we're gonna tackle. Here we go, concealer. This looks pretty coverage. I'm gonna dip four times, and that's how much I'm gonna use all over my face. I'm gonna grab my booty because booty blender it is, and here we go. It looks a little darker. Ooh. Ooh. But that's completely fine because we're gonna highlight and it's gonna brighten everything, you know? That's why I'm excited to go see all the shades that they have because they might have another shade for my foundation. The face looks a little oompa loompa ish. But the way that it just went in, it looks like skin and it looks beautiful, but it still covered me. You know what I mean? And I can't explain to you the the formula is weird i haven't felt a concealer like this before like so creamy but still has the coverage let me see if i feel the same after but right now we good oh that went in beautiful but we're gonna extra highlight so we don't look on loompa ish i'm grabbing m20 and here we go so far we Gucci, we Gucci in the hood. This is the test that it has to do though, if this is gonna move and blend after like a few minutes of letting it set. Cause you guys know, I have to let it set for like a minute or two just for it to like cook a little more. This is when I will tell if it's meant to be or not. And then after the wear test, of course. But like the application right now, one, one it was enough for the whole face normally i have to like three times so that is a plus i'm gonna start blending the other areas my chin oh, that went nice. for a lip. i shaved my mustache before before this video because <laughs> it was a little it was getting a little big hmm you see that? Do you see this? I don't know if I should stick with how I normally set my concealer or I go ahead and try her powder because it scares me. Because this might be a break it or make it situation. Should I just try it with... Because what if it does what if it does something weird? I'm gonna be upset. This is medium. This is deep. Guys, this is deep. Okay, hold on, you guys. I'm trying to figure out life right now. Because I will go in with my Juvias, obsessed with my Juvias, uh, what color is this? Kalahari to set my under eye beautifully. But because I wanna try the new thing, I don't know if I should go for that. You know what? I'm gonna do it the way that I do it. So I'm gonna go in with Juvia's uh, Kalahari first to set my under eye and then I'm gonna go on top of that because I might not like the powder and it's not a yellow color. This is the color D. So this might just kind of like settle and that's not the look I'm going for. So that's the way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna set with this and then I'm gonna put that one on top. Look how yellow this is. I need a yellow, hello, yellow me up, yellow me up. Lightly with the sponge. I'm gonna go ahead and set. Okay, here's where we are. So, I'm scared of this powder. I am scared of this powder. Cause I don't, but it feels so, like when you are putting it in your hand, it's literally like velvet. That's how it feels. Should we go for it, you guys? Let's go for it. Do I use a brush? Do I use, you know what? I'm gonna use a brush. I mean, I feel like this is gonna be a whole different situation. Okay, let me put it 
Okay, we're going for it. I'm so annoying. I feel like this powder, you need to use it with the thing on the bottom, but I'm just not ready for that yet. I will do that later. I don't want to throw my makeup away. And... It goes on nice. It don't show me no color. I like that. It feels very velvety. Ooh. I have to give this a try alone. I'm going to go buy it full and then experience that. But so far, it didn't do anything. It didn't highlight nothing. It just literally blurred. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But maybe for more like natural look, I'm more of a highlight. Give me that situation. So maybe that's why I'm like, huh? But I can't give you a full uh, review on the powder because I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. All right. So this is the face, how we look like. And the concealer blended out beautifully with my powder. And I'm not mad about it. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I'm going to go ahead with my makeup. I'm going to be grabbing this Alamar Cosmetic Bra uh, Brightening and Browns Complexion Trio. I used this the other day. This was so beautiful. I mixed this too for my bronzer and uh, contour, and it was gorgeous. Yeah, Monica's going to come pick me up. She started driving. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish everything else off camera because she's going to come pick me up, and I have literally what? Two minutes. Oh, she just called me. <laughs> she probably going to cut my ass out. Okay, we're back with some lashes. I put in IG by Body B. Um, just wasty situation, really, really cute. And I also went in with my deep dark mineralized skin finish because this right here, it's I can't leave this out of my thing. So I warm myself up a little with it. I noticed that I didn't contour with my stick first. Maybe that's what I'm missing for more snatchiness because I don't feel snatched. I'm gonna be using the new House of Labs by Lady Gaga, new uh, matte crayons. I like swatched it earlier and I was like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to put this on. This is the color dust. I want this on a little bit. A little bit. Oh, the way this dropped, the way that it went on. Oh, so pretty. So then I'm gonna grab my KKW liner. I think it's two. Nude 2.5 to define those lips, of course. Oh, that's pretty. And I was gonna leave it matte, but I was like, no, who am I? <laughs> I need gloss. So I'm gonna go in with Don't Be Shy by Dust of Colors. And for those who don't know, me and my friend, Monica Style Muse, um, she's literally one of my close friends, best friends, all that, I love her so much. We did a bundle, a BFF bundle with Dust of Colors, and this lip gloss is in the set, um, along with other of my favorite things from them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the middle. Literally the perfect nude gloss. Look at that, look at that, look at that. And I'm gonna have the link below for the BFF bundle for those of color down there. If you guys wanna go ahead and check it out on the other things that we have, but look at this lip. Oh my goodness, so cute. I'm gonna do a little check-in for you guys to see how this wore out, but so far it feels really, really good and I'm not mad about it. It's really, really cute. So I'll be back later to show you guys how it wore out and that whole night. So see you guys later, later, bye. <laughs> Hello, Ita. We are back. It is nine o'clock check-in. I did my makeup at two o'clock, so dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Seven hours in total. And here we are. I'm gonna get a little up close so you guys can see this. We got a little creasing underneath the eyes, but that's normal. Um, I love the concealer as a foundation. I love it so much. I'm very excited to go to the store and see all the colors. I said this earlier, but I'm very excited for that because I'm gonna find other colors like a highlighter one because right now my makeup feels like very natural it doesn't feel like highlighted like when i want to take it there i want a lighter one but i give this concealer a nine and a half i really really like it like the way that it went on i can't even like explain to you like you will have to feel it for you to, yourself like it was so smooth and so nice I sweated a little because I went to the uh, fresh store. We were having fun there, picking stuff, and we were just ex like we were having fun in there. So my makeup didn't move, and the only thing that happened is just crease underneath my eyes. Well, that's normal. You're gonna crease. You're gonna get a little bit of the pores are popping. That's just life in general when you wear makeup. But other than that, we're chilling, and I like it a lot. I give it a yes. Yes, pomegranate, you did your thing. I don't like the glass though. 
that's the only thing but hopefully when it drops it doesn't break and is it worth the 32 dollars yes in my book yes okay i recommend you go to sephora try it out if it doesn't work out you return it shh, shh, yeah what you do you know what i mean you know what i mean but i feel like when it's good products i remember saving my checks like when i wanted a certain item and i will go ahead and do it because i love this so much like with skincare or like concealers or foundations but i recommend it it's a yes for me and she killed it all right guys thank you for watching and i will see you guys in my next video ciao